we have a br pretty butterfly. I forgot to pay attention to the uh, tables. Now this looks like a stained glass butterfly, which is always sweet to find. Definitely a favorite. Um, we'll grab a picture. Previously discovered, otherwise I would 100% uh, fully document with a complete page. Um, in this case, uh, there's a lot to do, a little time, so since it's previously discovered, just my pre my preference is that I'll, I'll add it to the album, I'll, I'll do all that, but uh, full pages. Okay, so this one looks like, okay, that shovel head can have patterning on it. This one doesn't, so in this case there's no like, oh, there are legs on this side. I was going to take a picture of the underside to get the, uh, the cute little eyes in the picture, but uh, with those legs, I think I'll, I'll avoid that. Uh, so let's see who's giving us a nice, a nice look. That looks pretty good. The sun. Yeah, these are really cool. Just the, the patterning, the shape. Um, stained glass butterflies. Um, okay, an old, an old hub favorite, and Gek favorite. Okay. Um, what do we want here? We want a macro. We got to go real close with it, and we can we can up the focal range to give a little bit of leniency usually with this. Okay, looking good. It's so nice not to have that controller drift with this new controller. Uh, let's get the discoverer information and the names. So we'll get a picture of this as well. Okay, we have one more ground and two more flying. Yeah, let's start paying attention to the number of grounds again. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, six grounds and a butterfly. Uh, let me just take a quick look. So six grounds. Ah, okay, right. So this is probably the sparse table, which has six grounds and a quote-unquote maybe butterfly. <laughs> So I guess we got the butterfly in this particular case. And it's a stunner. Really nice to find those stained glass butterflies. Okay. Yeah, the stained glass butterflies, um, trying to remember who named them uh, that. I think that um, Swamp Castle was one of the people involved in that, N710. Um, our hub director and leader. Let me check on that. Yeah, so uh, it was uh, defined by 710, Swamp Castle, and Old School. So old, these are, these are uh, very important figures, um, you know, now and in our history um, in the hub and the GEC. Um, we ha we have uh, they look really nice these um, obviously seven one zero again hub director um, old school was the first uh, director of the GEC the Galactic Hub Exobiology Corps who we're all part of and fauna hunting uh, as researchers for um, and then um, Swamp Castle was a, you know a, a really hasn't been active recently but um, really a founding member of the GEC um, was really my sort of mentor in this whole thing uh, when I joined um, you know I was like yeah maybe I'll yeah maybe I'll look at some fauna yeah why not and I got deep into it but it was really his like enthusiasm and training and stuff like that that got me super excited and into it like very infectious very excited um, just a, a swell dude overall so um, so yeah, the three of them came up with the stained glass uh, butterfly name um, initially. Um, that was, I wonder if I have the date. I'm not sure of the date on that. I can try to, oh, ju uh, well, the first discovery of one was uh, July 2017. Did I just miss, miss scanning something because I'm yapping? All right, there we go.